How is it going, my friends? Today's video mm, is absolutely a banger, a sleeper. We're talking Chula Vista, California. Yeah, a little bit slept on, widely affordable. Let's go. How's it going my friends? My name is Jesse Lynch and I work with the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called Welcome to San Diego. And you can check out our website, welcome to San Diego.co. But this YouTube channel, it's all about helping you find a place to call home, a place to land here in beautiful, sunny San Diego, California. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city, state, country, planet, dimension, whatever it is. First time home buyers and relocations, that's what we do and that's what we do better than anybody else so if either of those two things appeal to you then do us both a favor subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you can get notified every time we put out these videos we do our best to make the most immersive honest thoughtful and just you know we take our time with these videos and really put a lot of work into them to make you you know help you get a good idea of what all these neighborhoods feel like what they're all about what's going on and you know what it's like to walk down the street like I am <laughs> right now. But so I would truly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified. And if you wouldn't mind while I have you here, give the video a thumbs up, say something nice in the comments. You can literally type something nice and uh, I'll give that a thumbs up and that little heart emoji all day long. Maybe like the, you know, the hand emoji, probably that one. And as always, if you are thinking about moving here, if you're trying to buy a home here in the San Diego, the greater San Diego metro area, get a hold of this and we will crush it for you. You can go to our website, welcome to San Diego.co. We have a contact form there that you can fill out in literally 30 seconds or less. Or you can shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to San Diego.co. They lead to the same inbox. So completely up to you how you do it. We just ask that you do it because uh yeah we'd love to help i said it already but today's video is a virtual tour of chula vista chula vista is gigantic and has so much going on right now i'm at chula vista center which is a pretty legitimate mall and it basically goes up and down the uh 8th street corridor there's just tons of stuff going on here tons of great little commercial amenities and all that so seemed like an important place to kind of you know get this video going but i'm gonna shut up we're gonna hop in the truck take you for a ride let's do it Right now I'm at Chula Vista Bayside Park on the ocean. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time here because the wind is so <laughs> strong. So I'm gonna start heading this way and let it die down a little bit. But Chula Vista Bayside Park, a really a beautiful area uh, with tons of, I mean, obviously it's coastline. This is San Diego Bay. And yeah, I mean, there's you could walk quite a ways down this way. And then uh, as well down here and right in here is sort of the uh, Chula Vista Harbor, obviously uh, marina and all that. Really, really nice park here in Chula Vista. And Chula Vista is a, a huge space. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of people don't, don't really realize how large it is. Um, and the population is the second largest in the whole San Diego area with a population of around 285,000 people. 
uh, it's big, you know? And Chula Vista is just to the south of San Diego by about 15 minutes. So probably about 15 minutes from maybe the center of Chula Vista to the center of downtown San Diego. Pretty slick. Uh, and then it's just pretty much just north of the Mexican border. There's a little bit of buffer in between Chula Vista and the Mexican border, but it's it's very, very close. And while some of Chula Vista has coastline, it's a pretty big, reminds me of, if you watch our video on Oceanside, uh, Oceanside has, it has some beachfront, <laughs> obviously it's named Oceanside, but it has some beachfront property, but it's also so big that you can also be 10 minutes or more from the water uh, because it had, goes so far to the east uh, and yeah I just it feels similarly about uh, Chula Vista and again Chula Vista is so large that I feel like I could almost make a whole video about best neighborhoods in Chula Vista if you're interested in a video like that let me know I can make something like that um, where we really sort of dissect a bunch of different spots or we show you a, you know several different spots on the map you know where the you know nicest homes are or you know the highest level of uh, pride of ownership in homes and whatever best schools etc we can kind of try to dive into that kind of thing not only is Chula Vista large it is growing with a in the last decade it's grown by 17 percent which is pretty pretty high for something that is at 285,000 sometimes you'll see those numbers and then you'll realize that the population was tiny 10 years ago and it kind of makes more sense but when you think about the San Diego Metro there's only so many places it can grow, right? It, can, it can't grow to the west, really, any further. It's pretty much completely developed because the west is the ocean, right? So it can only grow to the north, east, south. And this is south. And it's grown so far north that a place like Oceanside, technically part of the San Diego metro, it's pretty far away from San Diego. So growing to the south, while you're getting closer to Mexico, getting closer to Tijuana, there still is some pretty prime, convenient land, you know, to be developed in Chula Vista. So I think that's why we're seeing growth. There's new build developments uh, in Chula Vista, pretty affordable for what they are. And I think a big part of why it's growing is, you know, obviously access to downtown, access to the beach, but the schools here are pretty decent, um, surprisingly decent for the prices, actually. Um, it, basically, you're served by two different school districts, Sweetwater Union High School District and then Chula Vista Elementary School District. Those both get a B plus for the district, but the schools specifically that serve Chula Vista are actually rated a little bit higher, closer to an A minus. As a general rule and this is a bit of a blanket statement but if you look at a map of you know in regards to school ratings you will find that schools east of the 805 are generally better higher rated than schools to the west of 805 which is an interesting uh, dynamic that basically further from <laughs> the, the ocean is uh, better schools. A lot of the time you see it sort of where, you know, the money is all here and so the schools are good there um, because of the oceanfront property. But you will find that some of the sort of oceanfront properties are mm, perhaps a bit uh, industrial, if you will. But in terms of schools, you have Olympian High School, that gets an A+. A+, you don't see those super often, so that is very, very good. You also have East Lake High School, Ote Ranch Senior High School, both of those get an A. Bonita Vista Senior High School gets an A-. minus. Hilltop Castle Park, both of those are in the B range. And then for middle schools, you have East Lake Middle School and Rancho Del Rey Middle School, both of those get an A-. minus. And then basically, Everything is below that for middle schools. And again, it's massive, so there are a ton of elementary schools. Uh, the highest rated ones, Salt Creek Elementary School, Heritage Elementary School, Wolf Canyon Elementary School, and honestly, several others that are A minus. So those were all A minus. Uh, and then the lowest one is gonna be rated a C plus. And now I've mentioned this already, but I'm not gonna shut up about it. I think this is one of the most fascinating parts about Chula Vista. Median home price, 735,000. Compared to the rest of the San Diego Metro, which is sitting around 850,000, that is so good, you know, 100K less. So, and really, it's so close, so close to downtown and so accessible tons of suburban amenities you will see that you know ah, generally pretty good schools however you know you just heard not 
top five, you know, in the state necessarily. But access to good schools, you know, I, boy, I'm excited for this one. I hope y'all are enjoying it. Let's go for a drive, show you around a little bit, and just pick up on some of the vibes. My friends, right now I am in Discovery Park, a very large park here in right kind of right in the center, maybe the eastern center of Chula Vista. Um, obviously, baseball park, you know, love baseball here. And uh, it, it goes on for quite a ways. There's there's trails and you know, there's also some homes up here, but also playground and you know other stuff it could be soccer fields as well i'm sure they do football here too but anyway it's a great park very accessible we're going to talk pros and cons of living here in chula vista who if that bee doesn't sting me okay pro number one it is relatively affordable when compared to the rest of san diego the median of san diego we're talking almost a hundred thousand dollars less than the median of the rest of san diego and to be this close to san diego proper and have you know at that cheap like that that's hard to argue with indeed so relatively affordable second pro beautiful outdoor spaces and a lot of outdoor spaces if you pull up like google maps or apple maps or something like that and just you know do like a terrain view or whatever not you could do satellite view too but there is so much green space whether it's you know a park like this like a proper park municipal park more like regional park path something like that or if it's just something like a canyon or you know like a, like a trail kind of like weaving its way through Chula Vista. There is a ton of that going on here. Again, I say this all the time. I think park space lends so much to making a neighborhood livable. I probably will not stop saying that. So pro number three is that for the most part, you're about 15 minutes to downtown San Diego. That is as good as it gets, you know, without even there are places within San Diego proper that are that far. So you're technically not in San Diego, but you have great access to it as though you were. You also have very slick access to San Diego Bay, which is very nice. There's the marina and all that. It's, you know, very pretty access to the water, some great views. Chula Vista literally means beautiful view, and there are indeed some beautiful views here. Uh, pro number four is that overall the schools generally very good. You have access to, access to some excellent schools, like you know, a couple, I think a couple A plus schools in the Chula Vista area. That's pretty good. Um, I will say, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe this would fall into a con, but not every school here is great. But it's hard to really uh, fault a place for not having all tremendous schools, right? But maybe a con would be that you have to just be careful. If schools are an absolute priority to you, you're gonna have to just make sure that where you end up is going to be served by the kind of schools that you're looking to get, okay? And then I'm gonna do one down the middle. I'm not gonna call it a pro or a con because I think it super depends on the person. Um, but it is, to some people might be a pro, some people might be a con, which is that it's very close to the Mexican border. So for one, to the south, there's maybe a bit of congestion at the border. It's literally, I think, the second largest border crossing in the world or something like that in terms of volume of people going through it. Pretty wild. So, and then let's actually dive into things that are, I would say, firmly cons, which is that there are some congested areas, some pretty undeniably congested areas, especially as you're west of the 805, uh, the 805 basically divides kind of the more suburban part of Chula Vista with the more like urban old town historic downtown kind of feel and it's just 
more squeezed in uh, to the west of the 805, you're actually not all that close to like a proper beach, right? And obviously a lot of folks think San Diego, they think sun and beach. And while that's fair, uh, Chula Vista, you do have potentially great access to water by way of the bay, but you don't necessarily have a great beach. You would maybe have to go to Imperial Beach, kind of on the other side of the bay, which from where I stand right now is about 30 minutes. So depending on where you are in Chula Vista, I mean, it could be pretty close, right? It could be 10 minutes or so to Imperial Beach, but it could also be 40 minutes if you're super far east in Chula Vista. Huh? That makes sense? Cool. That's all I got for pros and cons. Uh, let's go over here. So this is actually just like a little bonus uh, section that I'm gonna throw in because I feel like I have to. Technically, uh, this is not within Chula Vista, but it's like right on the border. I don't know if you can see, probably can, these houses kind of up along this ridge. Those are in Chula Vista. Technically, this lake is not, but it's beautiful and ah, it seems worthy of showing y'all. So this is Lower Otai Lake. It is an absolutely beautiful lake surrounded by mountains. Uh, I would say somewhat sparsely traveled because it's kind of on the outskirts, right? It's basically as far east as you can go in Chula Vista uh, and actually then just beyond that. But it is, I mean, I don't want to say underrated because it, <laughs> I don't think it is, but also there's the ocean, right? So people love the ocean, but <laughs> the, the way, the way it's situated with these mountains is stunning and all this natural space. So nice. If you are, you know, a hiker, a jogger, um, I suppose you could, uh, like mountain bike, etc. here. I mean, there are birds if you were into bird watching uh, or or things like that it is just a beautiful beautiful area and to me just the access to this if you live in Chula Vista is an absolute kind of like cherry on top and I'm gonna just walk down to the edge here and just kind of show you show you the kind of views we're working with because they're not messing around you know it's it is really really stunning here we go I'm just gonna not worry about the shadow on me. And then real quick, just listen. It's like, other than some prop planes, prop plane, helicopter, it's, I mean, so peaceful. All right, that's it for this part. All right, y'all, right now I'm in the Otai Ranch neighborhood of Chula Vista. It is indeed a beautiful neighborhood much further east than where we've been some you know for the rest of the video um and a much more sort of suburban feel but still fairly dense you know there's still uh like multi home living dwellings right so multi-family dwellings and it's just so nicely like manicured here truly a beautiful spot and kind of wanted to at least show you this side of it again I think I could probably do a whole virtual tour on Otai Ranch and <laughs> it could be pretty sweet. So I think I will probably do that, but at least I want to give you a taste of, you know, of what this spot is all about. And of course, you know, I'm going to say it. If you are, think, if you like what you see, if you're thinking about moving here, if you're fully intending on moving here, if you already live here and you're looking to buy a home, get a hold of us. We will crush it for you. Nobody will work harder for you than we will. You can go to our website, welcome to San Diego.co. We have a contact form there that you can fill out in 30 seconds or less, or you can shoot us an email directly to info at welcome to San Diego.co. They lead to the same inbox. So 
completely up to you. Like always, we just ask that you do and you know, we'll get the show on the road, get everything going for you. But I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a virtual tour of Chula Vista, California. I, I feel like we truly only scratched the surface, but if you wouldn't mind, if you're new to the channel or just haven't done so yet, subscribe, click the bell to get notified so you can see, you know, when we do all these videos, potentially when we dive in a little deeper to the Chula Vista area. I think you'll be hard pressed to find anybody who works harder on the videos that they put out and really and you'll be hard pressed to find better videos anywhere on the internet about what it's like living here in San Diego. All right, if you wouldn't mind, give the video a thumbs up. Say something nice in the comments. You can literally type something nice, period, in the comments and I'll appreciate it. But okay y'all, have a good one. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.